one. Yeah. I hit start streaming again. We'll see what happens. What could possibly be wrong? Let me look at, you know, maybe it's the group chat that's messed up. I bet that's it. I bet the group chat on my Linux is, is frozen. Oh, that could be. That's it. All right, now it's oh, muted. Of course, of course, yeah, because we changed this. Yeah. Right. So that's the source. The group chat is the source. Oh, and now it's moving. Oh, okay. I, did, I, I I brought up group call. I um, you know, maximized it, and that like jump started it. Okay. All right. Yay! So why? Oh no, it's moving. I'm moving. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, that. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Uh, it's just a so I think that's from my Linux desktop. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, one one fire at a time. Yeah. I'm just, ha I'm just happy I'm broadcasting and I'm not frozen. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, right, I'm very good at the camera this way. Yay! Okay. I love the hair and makeup, Linda. Oh, thank you going from what I remember of Boy George. Okay, I can see that. I was thinking like Debbie Harry with the platinum blonde hair. Oh. So that, it all works. That's cool. Uh, uh, Boy George actually had better eyebrows. Oh, well, he, he probably like tweeds them and stuff. Actually, he preferred pink. That's okay. It's good enough. Linda? Mm hmm I don't know if you heard me, but I put all of Cybernaut's comments in our messenger chat. The reason Oh in, in uh Facebook or in Hangouts? In well I could have put them in Hangouts, but I put them in Facebook. In the chat for Beer okay. Good Entertainment. Okay. I, I did that because I'm logged into Lola Laracy's Twitch, and I don't oh. want to, yeah, I'm afraid I would send everything crashing down if I tried to do a different Twitch. I don't. Uh, okay, um, me to Twitch, uh, I need to close, uh, shit. <laughs> close that, close this, close this, close that. Close it. Yeah. Um, close that. Um, keep that open. Sorry, I'm trying to. It's okay. I'm just trying to make sure I'm not frozen on my desktop. Oh. Yeah. It froze okay. for a second. Oh, yeah. Twitch. Go to Twitch. Go. Good computer. Uh, 
in the middle of their seat. Mm -hmm. I thought you said very good entertainment was live too. You're supposed to be. Oh. Yeah, like it doesn't. Oh, for goodness sake. There. Just make sure to mute your sound. Yeah, there we go. There's the advertisement. You know, it's funny. On my Twitch, I see Chase's camera is off. So mm. y'all see Lola's camera is off, and I see Chase's camera is off. I see Chase's cameras off and Lola's oh. cameras off. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, yeah, the weird thing is we didn't have this issue last time. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's the order we enter the call. Maybe. Because mine is oriented from my desktop, and that's the one that's off. Oh, but no, I see Lola's camera is off. That's mm -hmm. okay. That's all right. Life goes on. Your friend Sorcerer Zero has just started watching. Aww. Oh. Okay. So I won't be able to monitor Very Good's chat at all. There we go. That's what I want. What episode number is it? It is 26. It's beer. Beer. Uh, and I got Cigar City, the new yeah. Belgian thing, and then uh, the AB InBev hop shit. Okay. Ah, I love these new bras. Love them. What kind of bra? They're well, it's a sports bra, but it has like a little teeny tiny strap so that it doesn't it doesn't show under this shirt anymore. All my bra straps always show. I have uneven shoulders, so my shirt always falls off. So I always have that one bra strap. Oh yes. I hate that. It drives me crazy. Okie dokie. All right, and I see our beer chat, our beer got doc. Yep. I have Bell Cow Milk Chocolate Porter. You want me to write that down? Yeah, sure. Okay. I actually do have a Cigar City beer. Nice. I love Cigar City. I got a few of them. <gasps> My group call ended. Ah! I know. I can go back into it. I know. It yeah. just pisses me off. All right. Now, now it looks like just it has the two windows. Yeah. Yeah. All right, joining call again. Oh, you're looking at the wrong window, Linda. Oh, okay. All right, let me see if I have to do anything with OBS. Properties. Yep, got to do OBS again. It's super annoying. Yep. Um, that. Hopefully my Twitch will, will stop being... Okay, I'm moving again. Okay, Twitch looks good again. Very frustrating. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty, I'm ready when you are ready. Are we doing two distinct shows? Yes. Yes. Okay, so we're doing beer first? Yep. 
26 and then 27. 27 is political. Okay. All right. And I'm going to try to find the information for my bell cow. I think I'm, I've had this brewery before, I think. Okay, 5.6% ABV. I are not saying something. Okay. Florida man. Florida man. Florida man. Florida man. It's a superhero beer. Yeah. Oh, stomach, stop it. Oh, I got a new shirt on. We'll have to talk about it because it's beer related. Brew. Oh, we don't brew beer. I can't see the rest of it. There we go. Oh, that's not what I want. That's it is it still feel the need to like entertain people while I'm doing this. Oh, I know. I'm talking to Cybernaut about the huge um ransomware attack that happened today. Oh the uh, oh yes. NHS. NHS. Yeah. I'm wondering, so if someone hijacked their information, are these people going to use the information? Um, I suppose if there was an influential character or somebody who really needed to turn their files over because they have cancer and they need it for surgery or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah so these are the kind of, yeah, these are the kind of disgusting depths that, that, you know, SOBs will go to. Okay. They're jackasses. Um, and I feel silly, I can't remember who hosted last time. I have no idea. You did. I did. Okay, good. It I says Lola down. next to Fortitude. Good. Because I'm, I'm coming down from my, my Twitch excitement. Uh, beer. Manta. Oh. Okay. Ah! Oh. I need beer. Oh. I started off with wine, which I spilled all over myself. Oh. I was trying to unplug my microphone, and the the cable got mixed up, got wrapped around the wine glass. The funny thing oh. is, the wine glass didn't break. So that was cool. But there, L.D. Strickland. I guess. I guess. Yeah, come on. You know you want to do it. <sighs> it's only my third Facebook account. For whatever reason, this stupid ass business account for Lola Laracy won't let me do group calls. I even Googled. And finally found something that said, sorry, that's not a feature within Facebook. Oh. Oh, okay. I see size comments. Okay. Um, do you want me to read one of the beer articles? Uh, yeah. All right. Here we go. Okay. Ready? Yeah, which beer so, article do you want me to read? Does it matter? Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't matter the second one, the Beer Pulse New Belgium and CSU. Okay, sounds like a plan. Okay. You ready? All right, yeah, ready. Ready, Mr. Producer? Mm-hmm. Oh. <sighs> 
Hi there, everybody. You've reached Very Good Entertainment. I'm Sorcerer Zero, and I'm here with my really good friend, Lola Laracy. Hi, Lola. That's me, that's me, that's me. I have friends. She's my really good friend. This is uh, this is episode number twenty six. This is our beer show. This is we we're we're wrapping up our we're wrapping up our Friday and trying some good beer. And I noticed is that a beer shirt? Is that, I, that's is that my, a beer? That's my booze. Um, <laughs> I'm wearing it backwards so you can see it. I I, I just got it, so I actually don't even know what it says. We don't brew beer for the masses. Instead, our beers are crafted for a chosen few. A small, so for renegades, we brew beer like us. Founders brewed yeah. for us. Founders yeah. beer. That's a fantastic shirt. All right. First of all, we have to do, um, how does the Star Wars theme go? Um, dun, da -da -dun, da -da -dun, da a message saying that she had skunky beer. <gasps> did and they send you the shirt because of the skunky? Did. Oh, they're so they nice. Did. Sweet. That was very nice. They were very kind. And they didn't admit to the skunkiness. They just said it has an unusual flavor that not everyone appreciates. Or they didn't say appreciates, but not every, it's not to everyone's taste. But I you've had it before, it. haven't you? No, I hadn't had it before. Oh. But I, I pointed to them to the video where the head popped out of yeah. the bottle, and I mean, and the look on my face where I said it smelled like dirty gym socks. So. Yeah. But you know what? We're being diplomatic. They, they, you know, they sent me the shirt, so I'm yeah. happy. So it's all good. All's well that ends well. My founder shirt. Well, it is. That was very nice of them. That was kind. So I feel happy. You know, I got something unusual, and I don't feel like I wasted twenty dollars. Yeah. So. Uh, so, what beer do you have today? Well, this one I I've had this on my shelf for several months. I'm not even sure when I bought it. Um, Oh wait, I do know where I bought it when I bought it because it says purchased six sixteen. I don't know uh -huh. if you can see that yet. So this was that batch I bought uh -oh. almost a year ago that I've been saving. So unfortunately I can't really compare it to a newer version because I don't think I've had this one before. If I have, I don't remember it. But anyways, it's called it's from Bell oh, it's from J Dubs Brewing Company. It's a little J Dubs. D Dubs. D Dubs Brewing Company in Sarasota, Florida. So that's sort of local. And it's called Bell Cow Milk Chocolate Porter. And of course, we know we love milk chocolate. We love porters. We love it all. Mm -hmm. We love cans. We love beer. So we love cows. Would, this, would, would this give you more bell or would it give you more cow? More cowbell. <laughs> you want to know what's funny? <laughs> I have a cowbell. I oh, really? I think I should have brought it out. I don't have... Oh, my God. Wait, I do have it. It's right here. Hold on. And I'm mobile because I'm on my laptop. I'm still going to fall down. I don't know if you remember, but I bought this a long time ago. The oh, yes. Cow. Yeah, I remember that. Have a cowbell. Oh, cowbell. <laughs> milk chocolate porter. Get your milk chocolate porter. <laughs> This needs to be my icon. I don't have a Facebook icon for the new Facebook I started today. So you know, you could that. take that off the neck and, like, make a necklace with it. Yeah, but then I'm saying I'm a cow to be herded. Oh, no. You just do it as more cowbell. <laughs> yeah, and, you know, Christopher Walken loves cowbell. And if Christopher <laughs> Walken... Okay, well, wait, let me retract that. There is one thing that Christopher Walken likes that I don't like. And that's putting a watch up my butt. Oh, no thanks. Oh, no. Ooh. <laughs> you, you don't remember that from Pulp Fiction? No, I don't remember much about Pulp Fiction. <gasps> Pulp Fiction I usually so watch, nice. I watch Pulp Fiction like after I watch other movies and I'm like really drunk. And then I go like, Pulp Fiction would be a great idea. <laughs> Pulp Fiction is one of the best movies ever made. It's just perfect. 
I and my mother, the only thing my mother had to say about it was, I don't understand it. Cause she didn't oh, really? She oh. She didn't understand because it's not linear. It starts at the end. And she was all confused. Yeah. So she didn't get, but I love Pulp Fiction. And there's a scene with Christopher Walken. Christopher Walken plays an old army buddy of Bruce Willis's father. And there's a flashback to Bruce Willis as a child. And Christopher Walken comes to visit him to give him his father's watch. Mm -hmm. And then Christopher Walken tells a story about how the only way he could get it out of World War II, I guess it was World War II, was to smuggle it in his butt. Oh, I do remember that. Yes. Okay, I remember that, yeah. So that's the only thing that I can think of that Christopher Walken likes that I would not like. So it wasn't necessarily a like situation. It was, he kind of just had to do it. You know what, though? Even in that situation, I'd be like, I'll go to Kmart and buy you a watch. It'll be okay. We'll get you a watch. Don't worry, Bruce Willis. You'll get, you'll get a watch. It won't be the same watch, but you'll get a watch. Yeah. I'll buy a watch when I get back to the States. So anyways, after that tangent, we're going to open up more cowbell. And then we're going to sing Don't Fear the Reaper. <laughs> because we're not on YouTube, so hopefully YouTube, we can't get shut down. Maybe we won't get shut down for singing a song because we're happy and we like to sing songs. We like cowbell. All right, so I'm pouring my cowbell beer. Ooh, it kind of looks chocolatey. Yeah, the lighting's not great because I don't have my, my good camera plugged in. But, yeah, it looks just the way it seems to look on camera. It's a very dark brown with sort of a tan head. Oh, let's see. It might go over. Don't go over. I didn't, I didn't bring it up in time. I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay, so this is my beer. It's very frothy. It's got a lot of little bubbles. So that makes me think it's going to be very carbonated. Oh, there's the camera. Makes me think it's going to be very carbonated. It's got about half an inch of a head. Oh, where's the camera? Where's, do you think I'm not used to this? There's the camera. Okay, so it's got a little bit of a head. Uh, very opaque. I cannot see through this. In fact, I see myself. I see my reflection. But I cannot see through it. It's very dark. Smells like chocolate. Definitely it smells like cream too, like milk. Def I'm definitely Oh that. wow, that's excellent. A milk chocolate stout has a milk chocolate bar has to smell like the, the the cream rising to the top. You know what it smells like milk chocolate, like chocolate milk. It smells like chocolate milk. You awesome. know what? Our friends who are talking about wanting a good chocolate porter, they would yeah. like this. They would really like this. I might have to get some more and bring them to our friend, you know, when I see him next time. This is good. It's really good. It's definitely uh, very carbonated. Um, you know, it's got the little tiny bubbles and everything. It's it's not heavy. It's not thick. It's, it's kind of a thin texture, which actually is probably about right for a porter. So I think a porter tends to be a little thinner than a stout, if I remember correctly. Well, that's my interpretation of a porter. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not. Sh I'm still not sure if that's correct or not. I think the texture should be lighter for a po for a porter, but it should be a little roastier. Like a stout should be thicker in texture, but a, a porter should have maybe a just a touch of a bite. More. It, does. it has a tang. It definitely has a tang. Yeah. And, and I think that's because it's got the little bubbles. It's very carbonated, so the little bubbles are, like, popping against my tongue. Yeah. Definitely got that. It's one of those where if you just looked at it, you might think it's a soda because of the little bubbles. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, definitely a lot of activity going on. I mean, it's not, it's not lying flat. It's definitely, you know. Now, the quality of the chocolate mm -hmm. is... Is this like a, you know, a, a, a like a baking chocolate, a like Hershey bar chocolate? A... I would 
say uh, somewhere in between. It doesn't have the dark bite of baking chocolate. Yeah. It really does have the milkiness of, say, a Hershey bar. Oh. So, but it's not sweet like that. It's still not sweet. It's It has, when I think of baking chocolate, I think of not sweet. Yes. So it's kind of got, it's almost like any sweetness it has comes from the milk. That's what I well, think. Well, that's, that's, that sounds like a beer I could beg for. Because, you know, when I drink a beer, I still want it to be a beer. If I wanted a right. milk chocolate soda, I'd go find a chocolate soda. You get a Yoohoo or whatever, yeah. But, yeah, this is this sounds like a chocolate beer. It is. Um, it's not heavily sweet, but it's not bitter like some like dark chocolate beers. It's, I definitely get the milk. It's definitely yeah. that sweet cream, that sweet cream taste. Yeah. So I like it. Worthy of cowbell. <laughs> Hopefully no cows were harmed in the making of this beer. No cows harmed in the making of this beer. They just had their udder squeezed a little bit. Well, I have a beer actually um, from the same, from the same, uh, people that is that are on our very first article this okay. is a cigar city beer um i yes. consider this i consider high lie to be and you taught me how to say it right <laughs> i consider high lie to be a wake up beer good even though it's i mean it's an ipa but to me it's a a little kind of like Kind of, it's not a slap in the face. It's kind of like a, a flick in the face, you know. Yeah. It's not super over the top. It's seven percent, seven, seven point two percent, seven point five percent. Well, it's a seven and a half percent, but it's only seventy IBUs, so it doesn't okay. go over the top with IBUs. And I, should, yeah. I keep forgetting to look at the chat. Chat, chat, chat. I know, chat. and, and Cybernaut Google Hangout at me. Oh, it just it's about something else. There we go. Very nice, very orange. Very, very Florida. Orange. Very nice. That is lovely. Dark yeah. burnt orange. And of course, um, Cigar City is from Tampa, Florida. I've been there before. And, um, oh man. It's all tangerine and orange, and that's why I like. Well, that's why I really think it's like a wake up beer because of the, the tangerine and the orange. Morning. Yeah. I get it's like I could totally have this sitting right next to my bacon and poached eggs. Oh, that sounds awesome. That that would be fantastic. Uh, on a morning when you know you don't have to go anywhere, so you can afford to kind of ease into the morning. Mmm. Yeah, and it's it's definitely it's citrus. Mm -hmm. It has got a citrus taste that doesn't quit, and the the 70 IBUs just back it up because um, people who even people who like grapefruit grapefruit are really going to enjoy this because the the hops come right in behind and give you that little bitter bite that reminds you of a uh, orange peel and the little nip of tangerine. Um, and and seeds like when you accidentally bite down a seed and you go oh well that's not so bad it actually makes it kind of better and it gives and, you some, some meat on it it's yes like, yeah instead of just having the juicy type flavor you've got some viscous <coughs> <coughs> drink the beer linda don't breathe the beer um don't, don't. don't breathe the beer so actually it's really not good for breathing uh yeah, lesson learned. Yeah, we still like oxygen. We're not that hardcore. Mm. It's really, um, it's so tangy around the mouth. It's got, um, you know the way orange will, like, make your gums feel all tingly? That's, mm -hmm. that's what that does. It's a good feeling. Lovely smell, lovely color, lovely taste. I would not hesitate to go out and buy a whole six pack, twelve pack, twenty four pack, thirty two. Yeah, for goodness' sake, just give me a suitcase of this stuff. It is. It's one of the most popular IPAs. I'm sure you remember a certain beer show we used to be involved with. They would talk about it all the time. Yep. 
it is very famous. It is very well regarded. Mm. So that, um, some some person called Lola gave this to me. Thank you. you. Know, you're very welcome. <laughs> I, it's it's one of the good things about being in Florida. I really have access to some excellent beer. Yep. It's Cigar City, Funky Buddha, which is my favorite. Funky Buddha is like my most favorite ever. I want to be buried with their beer. Yeah. So I can come back to life and drink it. <laughs> so that, intuition. Uh, we've got some really nice stuff between that and Georgia, like Terrapin. I'm, I'm set. I'm like, I'm good. This is awesome. And I know you you have the founder shirt, but founders has even spread so far. They are now prominent here in Oregon. Right. Prominent to the point of doing promos in Corvallis. That's cool. I look around and every other week there's another promo. You know, they're they're over at Suds and Suds. They're over at the other Growler place. They're at Beer Thirty. They're you know here and there and everywhere, and it's fantastic because I'm finding more of it on the shelf. It's great. Me too. I'm, I used to not get, I mean, I think we just started getting founders maybe four four years ago. Yeah. But I remember it used to be like the Holy Grail, like, oh, I want a founders, and I would have to go to Total Wine on a day when they would just get their one shipment. And then all yeah. of a sudden I started seeing it come in more and more, and I was like, oh, this is cool. So now it's, you know, pretty much any specialty beer shop. It's still not a grocery store beer. But any specialty beer shop I go to will yep. have Founders. Nope. Founders All Day IPA showed up in Safeway. Nice. Isn't that perfect? If you're in Oregon, go to Safeway and say, I want my Founders, and founders. they will get it. They can get it. I remember the holy grail of Founders was always the breakfast. Um, that was the yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> And even though it's still it's still not here all the time, Corvallis Brewing Supply has it a generous amount of the time now. I, I see it a lot, so it's not that <laughs> anymore. It's still good, yep. don't get me wrong, but it's not like I have to get it every time I see it because I know, okay, it'll still be there. Yeah, it's not, you know, oh, it might be another two years before we see that Let's again. Let's get it. Let's get them all. Let's get all ten six-packs. And... Our first article <clears throat> is actually, well, I guess I guess you couldn't really call it an article. Um, Cigar City Brewing, in their, um, in their efforts to expand, have done a great job. Mm -hmm. And they now need a brewer slash seller operator. Oh. Yes. So if you go to CigarCityBrewing.com backslash careers, you'll see... <clears throat> you'll see a brewer seller operator this is pretty much like you were saying the holy grail <laughs> mm -hmm. this is the holy grail of the brewing industry if right. you are a serious brewer and you make recipes and you know you know all the operations of a brew house and if you've ever wanted to work for Scar City here's your chance Go for it. because that is that's that's pretty much everything you you make the beer, you transfer the beer, you, you, know, you clean, you, you, you're you responsible for all the record keeping, the daily monitoring of all the fermentations, and then you monitor all the quality standards for all the beer, responsible for the yeast. Um, it's, you know, and they're asking for only a minimum of one year professional brewing experience. That's amazing. Because that's the kind of thing where you would think they would want someone who's been in it for like 20 years. Because this is a big brewery. It is. But I think they're inviting newer brewers in. And <clears throat> I've seen other breweries doing this too. Mm -hmm. They want new and interesting because that's what you and I mm -hmm. are demanding. We're saying, okay, uh, <laughs> you know, it, it, it's, it's enough with the standard yeah. Northwest IPA. We, right. We're done. We're pretty much over it. There's a gluttonous market. For goodness sake, give us something interesting to drink. Right. Give us some different hops. If you want to send your beer to space, that's cool too. Yeah. <laughs> interesting new um, people who people who aren't afraid to you know experiment and really give a brewery something 
to sink their teeth into. Um, because it's hard to stand out. Yeah, that's that's what the industry's looking for now. It really is. So those brewers, and um, <clears throat> I have it on good authority that <laughs> one year professional experience could probably be stretched. You could probably fudge a little bit. If you've produced beer, generous amount of beer, and have actually put it out to the public, that can be considered professional experience. Well, and like you have the microbrews. So yeah. you have the little like startup microbrew where there's just a little hole in the wall, and maybe they're not even incorporated. They may not even be an yeah. official brewery, but you know they service the neighborhood, and that can mm -hmm. be considered professional experience. It just really depends. And uh, as long as you can convince them you know how to do the job, you might even have to learn a bit about bigger equipment. But remember the bigger, yeah, bigger equipment just means something new to learn. Mm -hmm. And it just means that uh, it just means that you can brew bigger. So don't be afraid. You know, if you think you might be close to that one-year experience, just go for it. Go for it. As long as you can, you know, adapt your measurements to a larger arena, mm -hmm. and that's just math, you know, yep. just make, make sure you can handle everything physically. I mean, you may need an assistant <clears throat> or something. Yeah, there's, there's plenty of slave labor and brewing. <laughs> You can always get someone to help you with something. <laughs> yeah, I, was, there, I, I was slave labor for a little while. It's, it's okay. You know what? If I lived near a brewery and I had the time, I would work for beer. Mm -hmm. I would tell them, nice. I'd, I'd be like, you know what? I will come and help you set up and do whatever. And then you, you know, give me maybe three beers that night. <laughs> And, you know, that is a way to get experience. That is a way to get professional experiences. Go and offer your services to a small, uh, small unincorporated brewery. You can you can put that on your resume if you know. You, I'm sure here in Oregon, you probably have to have an OLCC license and uh, <clears throat> to actually brew the beer, serve the beer. Probably. <clears throat> but you know, you can still clean up and say you worked in the brewery. <laughs> well, and that means a lot, especially when it comes to the business end of it, because it sounds like they want someone who also is a manager as far as operations. Mm -hmm. Yes, so, definitely management. So this is this is great for people who have gone to school for brewing. Mm -hmm. Fabulous for like Oregon State University fermentation programs. Yeah, I was thinking about that. Of course, I'm sure they already know about it. It was posted May 2nd, so I'm pretty sure that everybody that everybody knows about it. There's a lot of competition, so pretty much everyone who is poised for this type of position, they're already on it. So, it's But if things. they haven't found their perfect brewer yet, Maybe you still you have a chance. You still have Maybe a chance. you, dear viewers, could be the next brewer at Cigar City. <laughs> and every... Every opportunity you get to interview is a good opportunity. Right. It gets you used to it. You, you yep. learn what to expect. And you, and you, and you can ask questions. Ask all, even if you have, even if you think you have no hope of getting the position. Mm -hmm. This is your chance to ask a brewery questions that you might not get to ask otherwise. Right. And keep in mind, they may open another location. And they may be That's like, true. I remember Linda, she was so knowledgeable and so just personable and she asked <laughs> all the right questions. Let's see if she's still available. I wish I could afford to do the fermentation program. Oh man, that'd be fantastic. <laughs> I can't either. I mean, <laughs> and, and I mean, like, it, I already used all my Pell Grant. Um, yeah. You know, <laughs> it's all gone. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, and that's all gone. So even even if I were inclined, there's there's nothing left. Like and I'm still paying off my student loans twenty years later. Yeah. I'm still paying them off. Well, let's see. We have other articles. Yeah, I had one. Okay. Um, all right. New Belgium. 
Color oh, Colorado State University is a partner on Old Aggie Superior Lager. Lager. So are they are they making a beer for the football program? It looks like it because it has a little picture of a ram on it. Because I know Colorado State used to be really heavily into their agricultural roots, like Oregon State used to be. Yeah, which is really All right. <clears throat> this is what's happening. Okay. <clears throat> New Belgium Brewing in Fort Collins, Colorado, is teaming up with CSU, Colorado State University, for a one-of-a-kind beer, Old Aggie Superior Lager. So the packaging features the RAM, which I just saw. And if you want, you can go to the article. Um, it's beerpulse.com. And you can probably search from it from there. Excuse me. New Belgium and CSU to partner on Old Aggie Superior Lager. So it's going to have the RAM on the bottle. And it, with a green and orange vintage color scheme because of the rich agricultural history and tradition. It's going to be a year-round offering, but only distribution in Colorado. Wow! Oh, time to make friends in Colorado. <laughs> I have one friend in Colorado, and I don't know if she would fancy spending money to send me beer. Oh. Yeah, so we're never going to drink this beer, but... Uh, Colorado fans, we love you. Colorado looks awesome, okay? I, I have some Facebook friends who I've never met in Colorado. Uh, so either my, my friend, my real-life friend, or the people I've never met, anyone, if you're in Colorado and you want to send us some of this beer, that would be cool. And we will definitely reciprocate. We can reciprocate. I, all the Florida and Georgia beers, I've got you covered. Funky Buddha, Intuition, Cigar City, Terrapin, Red Brick. What's the other? There's another Atlanta one that I like. I can't remember right now, but I got you covered. Florida and Georgia, it's yours. Just get me that Colorado beer. Anyways, that's, that's one, um, one word. Nin Kasi. Yeah, Linda can get Nin Kasi, and that stuff's been to space. <clears throat> yeah, I can get the bourbon barrel one. Some of it's been to space. So, Nin Kasi is fantastic. So, Linda can get you fantastic Nin Kasi. Mm -hmm. So, we have stuff to bargain with. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you what, we're, we are apocalypse ready, we know how to barter. Yes, absolutely apocalypse ready. Uh, um, we may have to be apocalypse ready. We'll talk about that in the next show. <laughs> we all, you know, I know how to brew beer. Um, and and uh, I actually think I know how to brew beer better than, um, oh, what, uh, River, the River Cottage guy. Who's that? The, the show um, River Cottage, it's actually this, this guy who goes and has this little piece of land and, <clears throat> you know, he's he has his pigs and sheep and cows and then lots of, it's a small holding. It's a show about a small holding, so it's fantastic for me. I love it. Okay. But this time around, at the return to River Cottage, he, um, he said he was going to brew beer mm -hmm. and... He, it looked like he mashed the beer okay, okay. but then he was going to boil the wort, and he, he got hops from a field, which was fine, but then he took, like, the whole vine of hops and whatever was clinging to it, stuffed it in the kettle, and then it, it never showed him actually boiling the beer, and he just said, so supposedly I just boil this for an hour, and I was like, oh, okay. So really boil it? Sixty minutes of an unknown hop in your beer, just like I swear, like this much vines of hops. And he said he had put it in the he said he had put it in the oven for he had oven dried it for a little while. I was like, 
my god, your hops are just going to blow the out of this beer. That sounds horrible. <laughs> I have, I have no idea what the hops were, but man, that's going to be some hoppy beer. That's going to be all alpha. That sounds awful. That sounds I, don't, awful. I don't do that. I brew beer with flavor. <laughs> I like flavor. And we know that I don't like straight up hops. I yep. like something coating my hops. The hops is like the inside of yes. you know, everything else. That's I need protection from the hops. I'm I'm weak and childlike. Speaking of hops, yes. If you had planned on brewing with South African hops, uh -oh. you can kiss those hops goodbye. No. <clears throat> According to PasteMagazine.com, AB and Bev has purchased the right to South African hops. What? Yes. What? You South African partners, what are you I'm, doing? I'm, I'm, you know, I am floored because, <laughs> I'm floored because um, AB and Bev obviously couldn't grab enough of the craft beer market. Cra a, a lot of craft beer places have been turning them down. <clears throat> So since they couldn't just, you know, like jump on top of the market and gather it up in both hands, mm -hmm. they decided to grab the hop market instead and sell the hops to the brewers that make the beer in their little circle of friends. <clears throat> so they're just choking the market, basically. Uh, pretty much with South African hops, yes. And... Um, I didn't even realize that AB InBev had purchased Wicked Weed Brewing. That happened a week or so ago. Yeah, I I tuned it out. I'm like I've never I don't think I've ever had Wicked Weed, so I'm just kissing it goodbye. I'm like I never had it. I won't miss it. Uh, apparently, South Africa now has a lot of the new aroma hops. <clears throat> mm -hmm. A lot of and, and that's. That's a big thing. Aroma hops are a really big, big e-ticket item. Mm -hmm. And a lot of those varieties were very, you know, a lot of people were looking forward to those. And AB InBev grabbing, snatching that whole market, <clears throat> that's incredibly unfair. Incredibly that's a unfair. Move. It is. It is a douche move. So, uh, Good job, AB and Bev. You just made me hate you more. <laughs> yeah, you just pissed us off. And you know what? You cut us off from South African hops. Yep. I, I, I am disappointed with South Africa because I would have liked to have enjoyed their hops. But now, okay, well, we still have Australian hops mm -hmm. and American hops and European hops. So we're just going to have to be happy with what we have because we have amazing hops. And you know what? The only thing I know about South Africa is Nelson Mandela, um, the movie Chassis, and the actress who was in Mad Max that I like with the blonde hair. I forgot her name. She's from South Africa. And Trevor Noah from The Daily Show. So you know what? That's enough. That's all I need to know about South Africa. We're, we're done. I've got that, and I just won't have their hops. I guess we're just going to have to uh, pay American hop growers more to right. <clears throat> create, some new, uh, create some new varieties. And we got good scientists. We do, and we have fantastic agriculturalists. Yes, we do, just like in Oregon and Colorado. That's, that's what we do. So yep. we got to get better than South Africa. I believe that's all I have. I think so. So we're wrapping up the beer show. We are. And we are going to, um, we're on Twitch. We're streaming live. So if you're on Twitch, don't go away because we will be back. Uh. I think our <clears throat> our producer took a little uh, a short break. Is he tinkling? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is only.
only five point something percent, but it's hit me. Of course, I drink mm. some wine ahead of time. I'm gonna have to have a a small nibble. Okay, and where can we find you, Lola? I well, you know what? I just started like my twentieth social media account tonight. Oh my goodness! I I can't I can't keep up. I've got so much crap. So let's let's talk about this. All right. If you want it with Facebook for my young adult writing, I now have L D Strickland. But I also have Lolaracy for my adult writing. And by adult, I don't mean like pornography or whatever, but it, it's kind of, it's it gets risque. It's, it's risque enough to where my boss said he bought it and I went, whoa. <laughs> so it's, it's that risque, you know, it's like, oh. So yeah, Lolaracy. And then I have my private like Facebook that I won't, you know, that's like for my family and stuff and you're on it but yeah so i won't say that but then twitter i've got at lola laracy at cerulean lobster and i do a lot of tweeting at standard drone mag and then google plus lola laracy that's about it oh yeah i have other google plus but we won't talk about that because i'll be confused so, and lolalaracy.com. So that's where you can find me. <clears throat> Excellent. And you can find me anywhere you can find Sorceress Zero. That's S Zero R C E R E S S Zero. Uh, you can find me at sorcerersero.com. You can find me on Sorceress Zero on Google Plus and on Facebook and also here on Twitch and on oh, YouTube. Yeah. I forgot <laughs> I have a Twitch. I'm lolalaracy on Twitch. Lolalaracy on Twitch. I'm sitting here right now. <laughs> and this has been our beer section for Very Good Entertainment. And we hope that you listen to another one of our podcasts. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye-bye.